like I said, uh, four to two, four to two gauge recommended. The bigger the better. And what I use is welding cable. Okay, welding cable is very fine stranded compared to other types of stranded cable. Um, you'll find that uh, the battery cable you buy in the in the uh, auto parts store. If you bend it like that, it's bent, it stays. This, very flexible, that's how that is, very pliable. So when you're, when you're cutting shorter lengths or longer lengths or you know, when you're configuring a battery cable, you want it to do things a certain way, you know, this is, this is the best pliable type of cable you can get. Uh, the other thing about welding cable, besides the fine strands and the flexibility, Pliabilities. It makes a great contact because of the number of small strands in that cable. It just gives you a lot better contact. It's a better conductor to me. Um, the other thing is it has a very thick rubber insulator around it. So it's a really a safe cable. It's a very good cable. So the best made cable you can get is, is a welding cable. Um, now this cable is also pretty cheap because um, this is a... Lincoln welding cable and uh, you can order this from Home Depot online uh, it's about 50 bucks so that's a dollar a foot you have to buy 50 feet at a time and that'll make you two or three two or three maybe four battery banks depending on how many batteries you, you use but it comes in a 50 foot uh, length like that about 50 bucks is about a dollar a foot which you know I don't know if you've priced heavy copper cable like that but that's really a good deal um, uh, now uh, that'll come in a box, come in a box about like that, and uh, so what you want to do is, is order that from your local Home Depot or, or whoever your supplier might be and get them to deliver that to the store and pick it up because if you ship that, it's so heavy, I mean we're talking about probably 25, 30 pounds, uh, you know, you're talking about 25, 30 dollars worth of shipping. So if you um, if you order that, have it shipped to the local store, go pick it up, you'll save the shipping. And uh, thus, a dollar a dollar foot on your cable link is about the cheapest thing you could ever get. Uh, and if you, use that, if you use that welding cable, crimp your ends real nicely, you're going to have the best battery cable that you can get. Um, see, another thing about uh, supplies or tools for battery banks is uh, uh, I don't have any handy to show you, but uh, there's a spray that you can buy at your auto parts uh, and it's specifically for uh, terminal ends on battery cables and uh, connections that uh, you want to spray all your terminals and, and cable ends with this spray. It's uh, typically a red, reddish spray. Uh, it comes in a small aerosol can, a real small one like you would think was a perfume can or something, a little bitty can. And uh, basically you want to coat all your connections of the battery terminal and of the battery cable. Uh, all the ends you want to coat with that red stuff because you don't want any corrosion building up on your battery bank. Uh, if you've uh, ever seen how an automobile has corrosion on the terminals of the battery, you get the same thing in a, in a green energy system if you don't seal it real well with that, with that anti-corrosion spray. Um, so what I recommend is as soon as you terminate cable ends, as soon as you get them on your battery bank and your connections, you cover them with that red spray. You know, spray, you know, over it and around like that, and really, really get it sealed up. And you won't get that corrosion building up. And uh, you really want to avoid that. And you can if you have that spray. Uh, it's not an option because of that. I just, I mean, you just got to do that. Uh, that covers about everything I've got to say about battery banks. I think. So, uh, so next, um, uh, we'll reinforce the cabinet and just get started on this project, and, uh, and we'll actually build the battery.